Good morning everyone, this is Star Trek Fleet Command morning coffee stream and it is Thursday. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. We are finishing up some um, bounty hunter uh, events in the game this morning before we get started on the dailies. And the dailies are part of the event, so that's pretty nice. Right now, I'm running the um, Armada portion. I've just completed one, and I'm starting a second, I think. Four total is what you have to run. <clears throat> Let me speed this up. The away team portion or part of the dailies is also so there's away team missions and um, the dailies that are part of the bounty hunter event. Get your um, bonus refinery is active today. It's good for another day and uh, roughly five hours. Is that right? Uh, so get your pulls in. Let's see here. Let's let's go ahead and do a few pulls here while we're waiting. Uh, the next pull for your refinery is 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. No, Eastern Standard Time. I'm sorry, Eastern Standard Time. So don't forget to reach out there and. Uh, Do all your pulls. Okay, still got time to go. Let's do some faction stuff. Some faction stuff. Mic is on and you can see my screen. Yes. All right. All good. Excuse me. Uh, while I'm thinking of it, because of game issues yesterday, Scopely, you suck. Uh, there is no stream for yesterday, so don't be looking for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I tried my best. But uh, once Scopely's game crashed to the desktop, uh, I had to call it because there was no getting it. To work correctly after that. So I don't know what happened. Um, I think I'll save the officer pools for now. Okay. 
Resource pool. So uh, I can't because I'm having so many difficulties with the game and streaming lately. I don't know what I've said and what I have not said about where my game status is currently. <clears throat> So I am I'm pretty sure <clears throat> I've mentioned I'm triple locked now. So all factions are locked at 10 million. Or at least the Federation Klingon Romulan factions are locked at 10 million. My Vidar is uh, fully maxed tier 9, level 45. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? Boy teams are finished. I really don't know how many away team missions you have to complete to get the bounty hunter. Right. Let me go ahead and run this real quick. Like I said, I'm not really sure how many of those I have to run. 
for the bounty hunt rewards. So let's go check. It's just points, so I don't know. All right, no real. I'd rather, when it comes to away teams, I just give me accounts. I'm trying to give me points. How in the hell am I supposed to figure out your points? All right, so we're gonna go with. that one up and we'll do the same thing here. Speed those up. I got, th I got through all that. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Um. Yep. Let's claim some of my white team stuff. I know dailies are in this event, but I don't know what you have to do to score uh, dailies. Ah, uh, you have to finish. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright, fair enough. About to uh, kick off. I have two more armadas I have to do. For the bounty hunt. Yes. Yep. Two more armadas to get the rewards.
So it's a little, a little different. Morning coffee stream this morning because of leftover events from yesterday. I didn't. I forgot about them. But let's be honest, I didn't even think about them. I uh, go ahead and move the Frankie into Vaughn with Swarm Kills. Uh, let me make sure Talon's on the bridge. Yep, okay. Let me, uh, while we're waiting on that to get down there, uh, let's do a couple of officer pulls, see what we get. Need you unlocked all stamets. from 10 to 11. Wow. Nice. Alright. Let me go claim this stuff. I'll come back to the officer pools. should give me all of the boy team assignments. Oh, hell. No, it doesn't. Apparently I need one more. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Once more into the breach, dear friends. Couldn't be an eight hour one anywhere either. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, okay, here we go. Let's burn our speed up, R15.
and that completes the away teams. Um, so we have, yep, two more to go. And number three is in the oven. Wow, these things are scattered everywhere in here. And let me just say, with the tier uh, 9 and level 45 Vidar, I am so happy not to be uh, grinding out more probes for the uh, inner nano probes. Let me just say, I think I have like a million stashed. Yeah. A million inner nano probes. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to hold me for long, but for now, I'm getting a break from grinding nanoprobes. Same with the uh, faction. I'm very happy not to be grinding faction or FKR. Okay, four more. Um, Realizing that there are two more levels of faction. But they don't concern me at this moment. Unfortunately, what faction locking does 
or does not do for you. It gives you a faction that hates you that you can drop into and um, let the auto grinding level up your ships. So what you have to do is you have to go to um, augment space and drop your ship there. And of course, scope is lagging again. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yep. Awesome, awesome. All right, that's all of that. I think I'm just going to keep killing until it blows up my Franklin. Franklin. Monster is out. Oh my God. I need one more. Okay. Kaboom, yow. But I guess not. You that or somebody earned it. Last one. And we will go back to here. What do we have here? We yeah, have. We need to bring that home. Somebody will pop it. Yes, I did. Unless somebody blew the damn thing up. I'm in 
the damn armada. Stop lagging, Scopely. All right, where are we at? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Um. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor, Mr. Rogers? Well, thank you for the follow, Titanium. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We are trying to get through the uh, Bounty Hunter event. I forgot about it. I just flat out I did the uh, the battle pass, the mini battle pass portion yesterday and forgot about the rest of it. And I saw it, I looked at it. I was like, oh yeah. Uh, how many of these I'll get through before it, my little ship goes boom. Let's see, what else? I think the um yeah, that's the arm armada. This is the spin event, but I don't know <clears throat> what I need to spin this on. I'll have to find something. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the dailies, I'm pretty sure this is for the um, loyalty badge. So I'm close on that. So we'll see what happens. don't make it a point to <clears throat> blow up the Frankie. <coughs> Excuse me. Lose my voice. Too early in the morning for this. Um, but this is for the uh, event. The Bounty Hunter event. How many out of 50 do I have so far? Ooh, three more. I'm good to go with three more.
this really pisses me off. God, it's gonna play fix your game. There we go. Last one. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about blowing up the ship. I'll just send it back. Okay. Boom. Let's claim the loyalty badge. And I think that will give me my reward for the bounty hunter in for the dailies. Perfecto. some uh, crystal mining real quick. I just want enough to get the, the base reward. That work. I don't think I finished. I was going to come back to these and I didn't do it. Let me come back to <laughs> let me come back around to the uh, officer poll event or uh, poll. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Uh, ultra recruit. I think I did that. Yes, I did. Premiums. So roughly 19 here. Okay, we have 1875 in uh, transport patterns, and one of my officers, I hope he's in this list, I think it's Fluffy, 11, it's 10 of 11 I think. I think Fluffy's in here, I hope Fluffy's in here. Oh! <laughs> Nope. Well, hell. Yeah, one pole really won't help there. I've already got him unlocked. Con. Nope, one pole is not going to help with him. Marcus. Nope. Cool. Wow. Okay. Um, 
looking for someone who I can unlock with the, the one transporter pattern I have that I can use. Yeah, most of these have got no shards or one shard. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nine shards. Troy. Eleven. And quark. No. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I think I opened up anyone new. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. That was funny. All right, got uh, fifty seconds or so. Spend event is going to be upgrades. I'll have to look and see. I'll do that in a sec. Let me let this finish and get get this reward. <clears throat> Yeah, it is it. Okay, is it just lagging? That's the problem. There we go. Alrighty. don't think I can do anything inside the event store because I burned everything yesterday. Yeah, I got two and a half hours to claim this stuff. Two and a half out of three. Oh no, that's a three day event. Okay. Okay. Got it. And I don't want to waste them on ten latinum. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Let's see here. That was a, I think it's a spend. I think this is a spend. Uh, 
uncommon or rare. That means I gotta upgrade something. Oh, 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 I know what I was gonna do. Let me recall my ship. Let me go into the station and see if anything's in here that can be upgraded. I uh, see one, but the trick is the upgrade for it to count for the event. The upgrade has and it doesn't. There's no uncommon or rare materials. That doesn't mean I shouldn't upgrade this. Uh, but that does not mean it will count. I gotta find something else. Um, let me see here. Me, let me think. Ships. I don't think I can upgrade. There were 300 on comment for that, and that's not going to happen unless I buy a pack. Not opposed to buying a pack, but I don't want to do it for one level. the event but I don't want to blow that much crystal. Alright, keep looking. Yeah. Not a too low. I need to be I need to be level thirty. One twenty three K about seven hundred and fifty K. Holy crap. Okay. All right, moving right along. This may the miners may be a good place to do this stuff. Eighteen ninety five. Oh my God, ninety five. I'm gonna burn a hundred uncommon crystal to upgrade this thing. Ugh, this may not be, uh, this may not be, it's all using crystal, and I need the crystal. What we got here? No, that's uncommon or rare. Right along. Uh, 
That's too low to even use uncommons and rares. Good God. All right. Whoops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. BB I don't want to tear it up <sighs> There we go, finally Okay, so what do we have? Oh, this may not use that. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, there's using some assets there. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm going to get scuffed on that. Because my uncommons are so low, I don't think I'm going to be able to complete that. I don't think I'm going to even try to complete that. It's just not worth it to me because I have other uses for those materials. It is not worth it. Okay, it is long past coffee time. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee uh, five minutes or less so I'm gonna as usual I'm gonna mute the mic and uh, I will be right back thank you for hanging in there with me uh, and I'll be right back less than five minutes
Okay, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. I know that was a little longer than five minutes. Cheers. Um, my wife had started a conversation with me about something for the, the upcoming nuptials with my younger daughter. Um, so... All right, where are we at? Good beauty. Uh, dailies. I know we've completed them. There's a buttload of these things. What do I have left here? Oh, okay, good. I can go to Tiger Core and knock out some of these things. All right. Let's, well, didn't need to do that. Tiger Gore. Okay. And the dread, dreaded little Wi Fi symbol up here in red, which means they're probably not going to be able to do anything. God, here we go again. I wonder my wife was pinging me about this. Looks like we, but it hasn't still, it's still red lettering me. Okay, finally. I'm sorry, this is just freaking ridiculous.
Sorry, I'm uh, working on trying to figure out. <clears throat> excuse me, trying to figure out what's going on with my network here at home. <clears throat> Since apparently the game is not going to let me play, <laughs> might as well take a look at the network. Yes, I want you to tell me what's sucking in all the internet or network bandwidth. I got a feeling I know what it is. I just want to confirm before I throttle that shit back. Open my work laptop. Go ahead and get started or get prepared for the start of my day. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Feeling that those, those original numbers were off. Why was my forces defeated? Why 
What? What in the hell is going on? Not quite sure what it is. It's saying. Oh. Alright, so what? What? Oh, I've got the, uh, okay. I know what it is. I know what it is. Does this tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. That's a shame. Alright. I had the crew set up for um, armadas and I didn't swap them out. That's why my ship got killed. what's going on now. Oh my god, Scopely, you and your fucking lag fast are driving me nuts. Alright, let's fix the crew. changes because I fucked up. There we go. Because I don't have to hunt his ass down. Okay. Once more. Sorry, this is a, a five minute travel time. Well, six minute travel time for the Bordas. what I've got to figure out the um, issue with with the lag in the game I don't think it's I don't think it's anything I have done or could do anything about but it sure is frustrating
Is it still traveling? Yep. Okay. Oops. got to be a way to slow down or limit the pull from the other devices on the network because I got a feeling one of those is out of freaking control. Oh, let's see. Uh, Prector, the, the answer to your question, and good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, the question depends on which ships you are trying to level because each ship type, whether it's a battleship or uh, a uh, explorer, which I believe is crystal, and interceptor, which I believe is gas. Um, give, me, give me a second. Let me pull up something. Um, whoop. okay, so Explorer is, uh, Explorer is gas, so that means that the interceptors are crystal. So let me see if I can get this on the screen for you. Hang on one second. Um, So capture, and then we want uh, this. Um, I want uh, this here. Bear with me. I'm trying to get a screenshot up for you to look at. I know, I know what that does. It just drives it crazy. Okay. What I wanted to do is to capture this screen and bring it in. Well, shit.
the discovery is a explorer so with an explorer you're going to want to concentrate on uh, increasing your supply of uncommon uh, ore and gas gas being the primary uh, so you so for instance if you let me pull up the discovery um, So the discovery uses, uh, let's see here, we, where we want to go, uncommon, where does it pop, there it is. So from four to five on the discovery, you're gonna start needing uncommon uh, ore and gas. Uh, uncommon ore is 170 and uncommon gas is 310. So the, the explorer is going to use those two components, ore and gas. Does not use uh, crystal, as far as I can see. Hang on. No, no, no crystal is used on the discovery or a this explorer uh, all the way to tier nine. And so that kind of changes. Um, Per, per ship, um, or per ship type. I'm sorry, I keep, I'm not trying to be that specific as per ship type. That's what I was looking for. It should have popped that window in there. Damn it, why is that not working? All right, anyway, uh, ore and gas. Uh, again, depend really depends on your ship types. Um, and I was trying to show you the um, different ship types and what they needed. So let's let's take a uh, let's take a legionary, which is a Romulan ba battleship. Um, so Romulan battleships, let's go to tier five. So with battleships, you're going to use primarily ore. You do need some small amounts of crystal. Um, and let's use the Romulan, or not the Romulan, the Klingon D3 as an example of a um, interceptor and I'm just I'm just pulling the information for the um, first five levels and so with the d3 which is interceptor type 
you're going to use uh, a little bit of gas. In this case, uh, it would be 173 uncommon gas, and you're going to use primarily crystal. In the case of the D3, it is 770 uncommon crystal. So, uh, again, depends on what you're tearing up, but it's not the specific ship, it is the type. And you'll have a primary and a secondary uh, uncommon requirement. I hope that helps. All right, let's go. See if we can attack these things and not get killed this time. Amazing how well it works if you use the correct crew. <laughs> Don't forget about your uh, uh, bonus refinery pulls. The next one's at uh, four, four uh, Eastern Daylight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Four p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the next pull or the next reset of the bonus. If you've been doing them every time they pop up. Uh, now, actually, mine is two hours late because the first one this morning was at 4 a.m. and I did not get up for that. So it would actually be, if you were on time, it would actually be at um, 2 this afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. But I am not, uh, I, my sleep pattern is so random right now uh, that I wasn't setting an alarm for this event. <laughs> Yeah, I love the bonus refinery. God, I need over 300, uh, is it ore? No, hang on, I can tell you. I am trying to get my, uh, my Centurion leveled up because this thing is a beast and I need over 300 gas for the Centurion. Uncommon. And I'm just, I really, really, really don't want to uh, spend any money. Because if I do, they're only going to, so the packs only, really only give you enough. So, warning, warning, warning. If you are buying packs to level up your ship using uncommon materials, typically, this is not always true, typically, they give you enough for one level. So between five and nine, you're going to, the pack will, will give you just enough for, to push that one tier up. And then you have to buy another pack. Scopely is a gouging, greedy company, and that's what they do. They, they're in business to make money, and they bang their own. Osu, I hope that's how you pronounce that. Uh, thank you for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Um, um, so be, be aware that speeding things up using real money sometimes doesn't get you as far down the road as you would think. When you're looking at one of those packs and it says, oh yeah, you get 617 uncommon or, or whatever. Uh, it's just enough for that one, <laughs> for that one tier. And then you gotta buy another one. So uh, definitely I encourage you to take advantage of the bonus refineries. Uh, scrap yards. Now, um, the best deal you're gonna get for uncommon materials is your battle pass and there's one coming up next week I think Tuesday so I if you are a spender if 
you don't mind spending a small amount of money on this game, the $20 Battle Pass that helps you double your uncommons is well worth the money. Uh, I am not trying to shield for um, Scopely. I'm just letting you know that there is value in that 20 bucks to get you the elite status of the Battle Pass for the uncommons. Um, and I think I'm correct in that if it doesn't double the uncommon material rewards, it's close. It's pretty close. Um, so it's worth uh, considering. Uh, now some are some people are free play, and that's the only way they're going to do this. And uh, definitely, uh, if, if that's your if that's your thing, stick with it. Uh, just know that there, that there are other game mechanic options for you if you are free to play. Um, scrap, scrapyard. Uh, if you're free to play, you want to be scrapping continuously. There are um, there are places online where you could find what you're going to get. I, in fact, I think the scrap the scrapyard will tell you what you're going to get out of a ship when it's scrapped. So when you click on the ship and it tells you what the rewards are or what the results will be, take a look at it and see if that scrapping that ship fits with what you need, whether it be crystal or gas or ore. Um, the free to free part of the battle pass, you are going to get uncommon rewards during a battle pass. Uh, complete each one of those events every day. Um, let's see. Um, I'm, 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 I'm. Some of your missions reward you with uh, uncommon materials. Uh, some of your dailies will reward you. Some of the uh, are my, uh, the away team events. Some of the armadas will reward you with uncommon. So there's there's places, but when you are when you're free to play and you're trying to get as much of this stuff, it's going to take time. You're going to be putting a lot of your time into the game to get the freebies that you need to advance your uh, ships and stations and stuff. And also keep in mind. Your buildings, your ships, your officer, no, nah, your officer, no, your research. So, ships, buildings, research, all of those use the same uncommon stuff. So, you have to prioritize what you're working on. Um, you don't want to come in and blow all of your uncommon materials on research when what you really intended to do was to max out your ship. Um, along the, those lines, your ships, for the most part, <clears throat> if they are um, below 26, yes, your first faction ship is 26. Depending on which faction you're going with, that 26 level ship may be worth leveling up it may not uh, what I would suggest is that the lower end ships let's see with the Kumari <clears throat> the Kumari should be uh, you should stop leveling it at roughly tier 5 <clears throat> maybe tier 6 but at tier 4 or 5 one of those two it starts using minor minor amounts of uncommon and that's when you want to consider stopping, unless that's going to be your primary ship for a while. Uh, save, just save your stuff as much as possible, your uncommons I'm referring to. Um, with the, let me take a look at this real quick. Let me do it by shipyard. There we go. So these, these ships here, so one of these ships, well, 
Taurus, I think. Um, you can tier to seven, and maybe it's either Taurus or South uh, Tala. The all right, so the Cura, the Voclus, and Kumari. Okay, so the the Voc is a good ship, but four or five. Uh, Kumari is a good ship. Uh, again, four or five, not higher than six, and I think you're going to want to stop around five. Um, then you're looking at the D3 Mayflower Legionary. D3 is a good ship. I really like it. Legionary is a good ship. I really like it. Mayflower sucks. If you are fed, if your faction is fed, get it. But uh, three or four levels is about all I would put into it, to be honest. It's, it's really not a very good ship. Uh, the separatist stuff I w or, or the uh, hijack stuff either one stay away from in my opinion uh, your 26 level ships the Bordas, the Saladin, the Centurion again depends on your uh, these are excuse me these are 28s the, the 26s are these three here so your 28, I really like all of these ships. Um, but here's where the, the fighting over resources happens. If you, if you are, have the ability to get all three of these ships, you're going to be fighting over resources. Uh, oh, uh, I don't recommend maxing out these ships seven take it a six or seven and leave it the three here the 28s the board the salad and the centurion i do suggest maxing taking the tier nine they're going to uh, they're going to carry you for a while especially the saladin the reason the saladin is so um So desired is because it get it has extra uh, fire. It shoots. It fires extra shots uh, in a battle. Uh, let's see here. So the North Star. I used to max my North Star. Uh, I don't do that anymore. Um, I don't depend on it like I used to. Um, it is a good base cracker. It is it is a battleship that somebody cleverly disguised as a survey ship. That the thing is awesome. I because but because it it burns resources, uncommon resources, um, that can be used for other ships. The twenty eights here. Uh, I don't recommend taking it to tier nine. Uh, I would say seven. I think my, I think actually my North Star is somewhere around tier 7. Give me a sec. I can tell you where, oh, no, it made, it's down here. Sorry, it's down here. There we go. Yeah, tier 7. So, that's, that is a good position uh, for the North Star to be. Uh, ultimately, I'd like to have a North, North Star around half a million uh, in strength, uh, but that will come with levels. Currently, I'm at uh, Ops level 28. By the time you get to 30, I think this will change to half a million. It also depends on the crew. Um, so this number can change based on a lot of things, crews being one. I don't think I have, yeah, see, I'm not even, feel, my crew's not even filled out. So let's see if we can hit. Uh, see if, how far we can drive it up, if it does anything at all. No, no, it didn't. Okay. Uh, 
screw can uh, affect your uh, your power on your ship. Um, let's see here, shipyard level. The Botany Bay was the other thing you asked me. Yes, you asked me about the Botany Bay. Um, let's see here, let's swap in the Botany Bay. I honestly don't remember where I stopped. Yeah, there we go. Tier 5. Okay, so this is one of those things where now it can be tier six. I have I have actually uploaded oh, upgraded all the components. I could go to tier six. The problem is I don't use this much anymore. Um, there, well, let me think. Uh, what is the what is the yeah so the reason it has i've stopped it is because i am currently not leveling my faction so here's here's what's going on you when you get the um uncommon plutonium to level the botany bay until you hit you need eventually you have all of the uncommons you're going to need and you need rare and to get rare it's level locked you have to go to 30 to get the rare components to upgrade your botany bay and they'll pop up right over here so you'll have uncommons and then you'll have rares so i stopped leveling this thing because i'm not 30 yet um so when i go to uh 30 the rares will pop in and i can start leveling the botany bay again um so i i would think the same as the um north star you're going to want to level it to uh tier seven at least i think it'll go to nine i think that's true yeah so i would say seven would be a good place uh Again, this is a specialty ship, and you don't want to overdo it. With so that's the that is the problem with the things that you're asking me about, the North Star, the Botany Bay, the Franklin. These are all specialty ships, and what you really want to be saving your um, stuff for are the level twenty eights, um, which are the Saladin, the D three, and the Centurion. Uh, I'm sorry, not D3. Uh, Bordis. Bordis is the... So, at, as you notice, the Bordis is Battleship, Saladin Interceptor, and Centurion um, is the Explorer. I do highly recommend that you save your uncommon materials as much as possible. Keeping in mind that you do have to play the game, you're going to need some small amounts of these. Just... Keep in mind, research, buildings, and ships are all going to share those same resources. So I prefer to make sure I can level my ships primarily. Some people focus on their research, and so they save their uncommons for research. Um, I'm willing to take a hit on the research if I can... Um, get my ships leveled up when you do that you slow down your buildings which is a good thing um, because you don't want to advance so advancing in the game is ops and all the other buildings that have to go up there's five of them I think one two three there's four of them Prime, the primary ones on that you're using to uh, advance your level um, So here, whoops, whoop, 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 here, 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 and here. Now inside of each one of these, you have other things that you have to level up. Um, I make that the, uh, it's, they kind of 
bounce between second and third uh, tier um, priority. Uh, my ships are already are always my priority because I don't like getting beat up. <laughs> I mean, that's the bottom line. Oh my God, Scopely, you're killing me with his lag. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Um. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. There we go. Okay. So anyway, my my. Uh, Differing opinions, just so just be prepared. I, I'm not sure there is a right way or a wrong way to play the game. Play it the way you want to play it. What's important to you? For me, the uh, leveling the ships is more important than advancing my ops level or, uh, obviously, um, at 28 still, um, or research. Research is usually second. Uh, there is a lot of research that will help you out, but not all research is worth doing. So just be, God almighty, just be careful. Um, this is driving me nuts. Give me one sec. Need to log into work. Yes, I'm an old man, but I'm still in the working world and I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god, the lag is awful. Awful, awful, awful. I did buy a second research. I bought both the build slot and the research slot. It'll cost you about 25, 26 bucks with tax to get both of those. I do, I do it every time. Um, I am a light spender. I rarely buy very expensive packs. So there is a, for instance, there's for the elite status in the game, there's a $99 version which gives you uh, materials and then there's a $20 version which just gives you the unlock for the elite. I always buy the uh, unlock for the elite. Uh, so that's that's my spend. Um, oh my god, let's see. Oh, we can actually attack something. How about that? And we're going to get lag again. Um, so there's, so when I create the account, usually around level 12, I buy the, uh, the build, the extra build queue and the extra research queue. Um, and I think the next thing I buy is usually the uh, North Star. Uh, you so uh, you can get the North Star in a um, event store. They they come around about every three months. So there are some ships you can get in the event store. The baby, what they call the baby um, jellyfish, which is the first jellyfish you see at level twelve. Trust me when I tell you this. That damn thing is not worth fifty bucks. Your, your range for that baby jellyfish for that 50 bucks is from 12 to 18, 20 at the most. That's as much good as you're going to get out of it. Um, when that thing first came out and was released, I think it was 20 bucks. They made the thing so powerful at the time that everybody had to ha have it. Uh, so they jacked the price up to uh, forty-nine ninety-nine or ninety-five or whatever they're using. Uh, 
and it stayed there ever since. With the release of the North Star, the jellyfish really, that baby jelly is really, uh, it's kind of <laughs> done its last gasp at around uh, 18. When you can get the North Star, uh, that's when the ride's over for the jellyfish. all the way back by destroying the ship, but I don't feel like it. Um, let's put this back. So, when you're looking at your what makes me stronger in the game, you need to look at your research. Because research, research is uh, continuing your research. You're going to want to do that. Your uh, officers. Your officers are extremely important, important for your uh, growth in the game. Either acquiring them or leveling them. And then your ops level. Uh, because... At the same ops level, the first two will determine who's going to win. So if you're fighting another 28, let's let's say I'm being another 28 are going at it. The the research and the officers for the two 28 level uh, players is going to determine who wins. The so then you go to ops level. At ops level 28, I can defeat an ops level 30 player if I crew my ship correctly. So then we're talking about ship. What ship are you using and what, and so when you look at the battle triangle, what ship are you using and what are you going up against? Did you crew your ship correctly for fighting the ship that the other player has? And if you're using, so let's say, two, uh, two North Stars or two Bordises or whatever are going at it, the better the crew, the better the research to, uh, is going to determine, for the most part, who's going to come out alive in that matchup. So crewing is with your ship. Your ship being... Uh, so the point being that a 228, if you're both using a Bordis and one of those Bordises is tier three and one of them is tier five, the advantage naturally goes to the tier five on a Bordis to Bordis matchup. But that's the le least and last thing that you need to worry about. You need to worry about your research and your crew, specifically your crew. Um, so there's, but the, this game is significantly math heavy. There's all time, kinds of little bitty math things going on behind the scenes to determine, to calculate who wins and who loses. You're, so to give yourself an advantage, you need to keep in mind those things that I just mentioned. Research crews, uh, levels, ships, what ship goes against what ship, your battle triangle, all that stuff. Um, so, again, keep that in mind. If you're PvPing, now if you're just doing PvE or, or that kind of thing, uh, it's less important. Sometimes you can go in with uh, Talon and beat a, um, uh, um, a battleship where you really should have been attacking a interceptor with Talon on the bridge. Uh, you, if you got enough uh, ass in your, um, in your ship and you got a good crew other than Talon being on board, um, then you'll probably win. 
So PV is not nearly as uh, math, and uh, well, it is. It's not nearly as intensive to get it right as it is when you're doing PVP. So keep that in mind. I am going to call it uh, a stream. We're, I've been doing this for four hours, or excuse me, two hours now. It only seems like four. Um, so thank you for the follow. Uh, Titanium and uh, Osu, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate the follows. I do, that. so for those who are new to my channel, I do this Monday through Friday, seven-ish to 8.30 usually. I cut it off at 8.30. I'm running a little late. I started early and I'm running late, uh, which is unusual for me. Um, and I do a Sunday fun day stream at uh, 1 Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. There's so much to do on Sundays that uh, I go ahead and stream that. I really enjoy that. So I hope that you will come back, join me again. Uh, feel free to ask me questions. I will try to provide an answer. If I don't know, I will not BS you. Uh, I give you my best opinion. Some of these things are relative to how you're playing your game. Uh, so keep that in mind. Some of these, not all, every answer, not everything in the game is a meta. Some of it is conditional or opinion. And so my opinions may differ from someone else, but I will tell you it's my opinion. It works for my gameplay, and that's what's uh, important uh, for you to, to remember when you're setting up your, your stuff. Now, the, the crewing and ships and that kind of stuff, that tends to be math-related, so it tends to be less opinion and uh, more of, this is a meta. <laughs> uh, so... I hope you uh, hope you had fun, and we will do this again tomorrow. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone.